you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing. All that see my prophetic word. All that see God locate me will laugh with me. and pray all that here will laugh with me all that here will rejoice with me in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. In the court of law, when a verdict is given and it is against you, and you feel that justice was not meted out, there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court 
when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah he said pack up your load he said god almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man put your house together you will not recover hezekiah said i respect you prophet you leave he turned his face knowing that the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love that in the character of god mercy triumphs over judgment are we together say father every judgment against my life against my family manifesting as a cause manifesting as negative patterns let the mercy of god overrun and overturn open your mouth and pray let mercy we appeal by the mercy of god that the ill speakings of darkness we appeal by the mercy of god that the ordinances of judgment be changed let it be overrun let it be overturned koinonia pray mercy triumphs over judgment mercy that speaks death mercy that speaks defeat mercy over causes mercy over ill speakings that even the lawful captives by the mercy of god will be set free tonight hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that god was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 and god remembered noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing. Watch this. And the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth. And the waters assuaged. Verse 2. He says, and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained. Not because it was time. God remembered that there was still a man. If this rain continues, even the man I'm trying to preserve, that evil will eventually destroy him. There is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve. 
while it was rising god remembered for the sake of noah i have to stop this flood now you're going to pray there are certain evils that have prevailed but now that you have come you are going to say lord remember that i am your son remember that i am your daughter the bible said which of you whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember Noah, remember my family remember me go ahead and pray and the lord remembered noah and the lord remembered joshua selman and the lord remembered koinonia and the lord remembered your business and the lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when john the apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that will follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said god himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can i tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of god and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and god remembered noah and god remembered noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you i have taught you here one man forgetting joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting mordecai left him at the gate for only god knows how long but the bible says that night could not king ahazard sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we're still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them but the spirit of god has an assignment to bring to remembrance that includes your destiny helper he can bring to remembrance that you said in january this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power what has stopped you from acting say father shout it say father in the name of jesus i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray hallelujah praise the name of the lord amen there was a very interesting story in the bible is the story of the fig tree the bible says that it was not even yet time for figs and jesus was hungry and he saw a fig tree green very inviting and he went there hoping to get figs and the bible says not finding figs he cursed it and said no man eat of you again and by the next day when they came there the bible says they saw that it had withered you're going to pray it is dangerous to not bear fruit john 15 and verse 8 herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples john 15 16 you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain fruit here talks of results it matters that you produce results can i tell you the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless 
you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry. You bear fruit in business. You bear. There are many fruitless Christians. They are born again. They are saved, but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for. If you do not bear fruit, you are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible. Listen, listen, listen. I've eaten a few fruits in my life. And there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful. Especially fruits like garden egg. And then you give it a bite only to find worms inside. Has that happened to you? That you see a beauty, it doesn't look bad, doesn't look, um, you know, decayed, looking very inviting. And then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within. Immediately, what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin. You are going to pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in my life, in whatever manner, I curse it tonight by the God of heaven. Go ahead and pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry, fruitfulness in destiny, fruitfulness in career. I cause it by the spirit of the living God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life.
accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Shalika Parakos Supranda Gebeleketash, Kebrateka Barekas Kotebeleketa, Manta Prakata Beleketos Katibala Sandabash. This disease, this infirmity is living finally. Someone pray. This embargo of shame and reproach, backwardness, retrogression is giving way in the name of Jesus. Take a minute to release your faith. It's time for gates to be open. It's time for doors to be open. Time for new chapters to be open. Make sure you are praying engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor and limited begging and in servitude in the name of jesus i curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray go ahead and pray my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men lifter of men i will hold on to the storm and i will hold on to your world my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men lifter of men Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. Smallness is a curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. Do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing. There is greatness without vision. That is also a foolish template for living. But in the presence of vision and understanding, there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life. And then number three, poverty. Do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped? That is the truth. There's a song that is in my spirit. Yesu kaine haskena In the kabi in 
When the Magi followed the light, they did not miss their way. It took them straight to where Jesus was. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a light that when you follow, you will look like you will not get there. But one step a day, one step a moment, you will find yourself evolving into an enviable destiny. A praise to God and a praise to the nations. Hallelujah. Now hear me. Hear me. I want to pray. Please listen to this instruction. I've told you that faith is connected to obedience. And I want you to listen to me. Please listen to me. I want to pray for the sick now. I sense a very strong anointing. I want to pray for the sick. But the Lord is revealing to me that there are people here you achieve things but they never last it's not like you don't start you will start and make progress but there is a spirit that must bring you back no ma you saw it with your parents some of you are experiencing it now you've had jobs so it's not like you are unemployed but there is absolutely nothing to write home about as i pray for the sick i'm going to pray for those people i want you to bring them out because the power of god is coming on those people and on those families i want to pray as soon as that song was raised that's what the lord began to minister to me in my heart and then i'll pray for the sick we'll take testimonies now ah there is a light that is coming here tonight in the name of jesus everyone please bring them out very quickly we have a lot to do tonight i stretch my hands and i decree and declare that every family and every individual that goes up only to come down goes up only to come down there is no longevity in impact i decree and declare right now be delivered this moment bring them out be delivered this moment 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 my goodness fire is falling in this place be delivered this moment in the I'm still praying in the name of Jesus rising and going down by the Spirit of the Living God whether it's for you or for your loved ones I stretch my hands now that fire let it bring a separation between you and that spirit forever 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 be separated now and separated forever in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah hallelujah a strong healing anointing is moving in this place right now strong healing anointing I'm hearing blood diseases blood diseases blood diseases 
There's someone fire will begin to burn your entire body from your feet down to your head. There is healing that God is bringing to you right now. Everything that is not of God. Lay your hands. I want to pray for the sick now. Help that man. Hallelujah. Lay your hands. I want to pray. Listen, as soon as I pray for you, miracles are already happening. The power of God will touch you right where you are. I want you to check yourself and make your way to the front right now. Right now. For those, as soon as I pray for you, a miracle is happening. Check yourself. The moment you find out you are healed, make your way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ. The first that I'm seeing in my vision here, there is somebody you feel like something is being pierced through your neck to your spine. I don't know who that person is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Please play the strings for me. In the name of Jesus, may the hand of God rest upon you now. Help them please. May the hand of God rest upon you now. Every demonic headache masquerading as anything, recurrent headache, I decree and declare, be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Any eye condition, total blindness, partial blindness, I stretch my hands right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, begin to see now. Begin to see now. There, there are people who cannot move their legs. I don't know if it's whatever pain. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is resting upon you. Begin to check yourself now and do what you could not do in the name of Jesus. Now hear me. All kinds of pains are about to leave. You will know because you will check the pain and it will be gone completely. I stretch my hands. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Help them please. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Pain goes now. Back pain. Be healed now. Shoulder pain. Be healed now. Neck pain. Move your neck now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. There is someone being healed of goita. Goita. In the name of Jesus. May the power of God rest upon you. I bring you healing and I bring you life. Healing and life. Someone with a heart condition. I cause that spirit right now. And I release you. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. The Lord is showing me someone. You, you are not able to sit down. I don't know if it's pile or some boil or just just swelling in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you now you're going to feel the fire of God rest upon you and that devil will leave you now be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not I'm seeing someone kidney problem you are having kidney problems. If I don't pray for that person, I'm seeing that you will die. In the name of Jesus, whether you are here or connecting from any hospital, may the Lord raise you from the, de the bed of, of languishing. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed from that kidney condition. You could not bend. Every time you bend, there is severe pain. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for you. Let that pain disappear now. Let that pain disappear now. The Lord is showing me someone, your toes. You have a problem. I don't know what problem it is. Your toes, it looks like um, it's getting hard. I don't know what the medical condition is. But I know that it's affecting your toes. The power of God is touching you right now. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is touching you right now. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus. 
there is a lady and a gentleman two of them will shout now under the anointing the lord is healing someone connected to your family this is in the name of jesus i know everybody but there are two people the lord is revealing to me and i decree and declare whoever that person is let a visitation come for you come for your family members in the name of jesus there's someone there are particular foods you cannot eat when you eat them you start throwing up and you will even be sick god is revealing this to me now i am I'm not a doctor i will not advise you as against medical advice but all i know is that anything that is related to the devil must leave you now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me a woman's husband this is your husband i'm seeing a, a situation affecting his mobility he's unable to move he's beginning to affect his leg it looks like arthritis in the name that is above all names whether you are here represented or so anywhere across the overflows or online i declare who is rachel rachel come your time has come oh, oh, oh. And the Lord is saying he's taking away arrows of witchcraft. This is what I'm saying. I decree and declare, be delivered now. Now. By the spirit of the living God. May the hand of God, I stretch my hands. Every spirit of witchcraft around the family of Rachel. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. What he says to one, he says to all. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Livinus? I'm hearing the name Livinus. Is it Lavinus or Livinus? Somebody, Livinus. The Lord is bringing deliverance to that family. Livinus or Lavinus, whether you are here or following online, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing someone in this row. I just saw light. Someone in this row. The hand of God is coming on that person right now. There are two men of God. I'm seeing a chapter close in your ministry. And another one being opened. The fire of God is coming on you now. Two men of God. I don't know where you are, whether you are here or scattered around. Father, I pray that you locate these men and open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. In the name of Jesus, open a new chapter in life and ministry for them. By the power of the Holy Ghost, multiplied visions. This is what I'm hearing. Multiplied visions. There are men that are coming into this realm where God is opening your eyes. Multiplied visions. Receive that grace right now. Multiplied visions. Accuracy in your perception. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Is there someone here with the name Godia? I'm hearing the name Godia. That should be maybe most likely someone from the north. Godia, please we have a lot to do. Make sure that Godia, if, if they are outside of this place, no problem. Let me just know. I want to speak. I heard that name Godia in the name of Jesus. Every manifestation of sp the spirit of death. Is there someone with the name AGK? AGK. I believe that, that most likely is an evil name. AGK, who is that? The Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are entering your season of reward. A season of reward. AGK, who is AGK? Okay, you sir. You are entering your season of reward. You are entering your season of reward. 
in the name of Jesus I decree and declare may my God visit you may my God visit you I'm still seeing another AGK that the Lord is revealing to me AGK that's the is that his name verified is that your name my friend huh what's your name what do you do I'm a civil engineer you're a civil engineer yes sir. I need to pray for you there is somebody who does furnitures I see the hand of God coming on you you are about to explode there is a supernatural grace that is coming on your business this is what the Lord is revealing to me who do you do furnitures furnitures yes, sir. you make it or you sell it I make furniture you make furniture yes, lift sir. your hands yes, sir. something is about to shift in your life in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be a supernatural manifestation of grace a supernatural manifestation of grace the Lord is showing me someone you are a lawyer but you have never been employed this is what I'm seeing there is a spirit of shame it's not just you your family members the Lord wants to change that who is that person don't tell lies make sure that you are you are a child of God you is she a lawyer practicing lawyer yes sir. I'm in private practice you've never, never been, employed. been employed yes sir how long have you been practicing 15 years yeah yes Madam, are you a lawyer? Hold on, hold the woman. Take it easy, madam. For 16 years, I'm for how many years? For 16 years, I've not been employed. It's okay. It's, don't worry. You are you're in the house years. of God. Just believe. I don't know you, madam. You, how many years? Brother. 20 years. Where are you from? I'm from Benway. Because Brother. there is a spirit. I need to pray for you. This thing has tied everybody in your family. And it kills the men in your family. I want to pray for you. Right. You see, evil is real. Old. I'm praying for someone here. In the, everything that is masquerading itself around your family. As I'm praying for these ones. May that grace rest upon you now. All of you in front here, right now, be delivered now. I release you now. Every plague of witchcraft over your life, let it be broken now. Over your career, let it be broken now. 20 years. Look at this woman. No nothing. You, you watch in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, these same people will return back here and they will tell you doors have just opened just like that. That is what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. Hmm. Check your neck. There's someone, I don't know what was wrong with your neck, but I want you to check it now. A miracle has happened. I will soon ask those who, are, who have been healed to come out. But something just happened in my spirit. Mildred. I'm hearing a name. Mildred. Mildred. Who is Mildred? Mildred. In the name of Jesus, wherever that person is. Mildred. Now. The Lord is showing me a very unique case to pray for a family. When people marry in that family, they must die. This is what I'm saying. When they marry, one of the spouse must die within the shortest time. It doesn't matter whether it's the man or the woman. There is someone who belongs to that family. Where are you? Come. One of this family is a Southern Kaduna family. I want, yes. Where are you from? Yes. I'm from Southern Kaduna. Sir. Southern Kaduna. Yes, sir. Stand here. I want to pray for you. Sounds 
southern Kaduna and seeing this family there is witchcraft that sits on the destinies of people and if one person ever rises that person must die something must kill that person and so you find out that all the great people people who would have risen is like something just brings them down I want to pray for you I'm not a prophet of doom my assignment is to bring light and liberty in the name of Jesus Christ Father, right from the foundation of this family, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. Let evil and witchcraft give way now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let evil and witchcraft give way now. Hallelujah. Now, I don't want you to come out. I will just mention the case because the Lord revealed it to me and I will pray for you. There is a family, the ladies in those families, there is a spirit of prostitution on that family. Almost all of them don't come out just for social reasons so you are not embarrassed. But I want to pray because I'm seeing five ladies and every one of them is practicing one kind of prostitution or the other. It's like the spirit insists that is the only way that you must eat either some man somewhere or something somewhere and they are sincere people but it's a spirit this thing i'm seeing by revelation that is started right from their mother i don't know where that family is represented but i cry unto the god of heaven the one who shows men mercy that yoke that they may not even understand that is responsible for this level of decadence in their family let it be broken now let it be broken now the lord is asking me to pray for someone there is a plague of sickness in your family you are twins you are twins you are twins you are twins this is what the lord is asking me the, the lord is asking me to pray and break that yoke you are twins where are you come You are a twin, sir? From where, sir? From where? Southern Kaduna, Zangwan Katav. I want to pray for you. The other twin is the twin here? No, he's said. But uh, I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something relating to your blood. I have to pray. Huh? This is like a blood condition yeah. that. Twin, so. Did you hear what I said? Are you a twin? Huh? Where are you from? From Abia State. I need to pray for you. Leave her now. I command that spirit to go. As soon as this lady came, I just saw serpents like that. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this lady be delivered forever. Forever. I'm seeing the name of a family and I'm seeing the ground being opened and the names put in and covered i don't know who did this but this is what god is showing me in the name of jesus christ any family here whose destiny has been trapped listen oh i'm praying whether you know it or not right now fire is going to come upon that person be delivered now be delivered now let the grave release your destiny 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 in the name of jesus christ father you reveal to me that there are twins what do you do sir please don't be embarrassed yes I'm a medical practitioner. You're a medical practitioner. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. Father, I pray for these people here. Lord, you reveal to redeem. Please make sure you the ones coming out. Why are you coming out? Twins? Huh? He has blood condition. They are twins. He has a Your blood children? Condition. Yes, sir. Who and who? Two of them. Two of them. This one has blood a blood condition. Co what, what's the condition? Bleeding disorder. It's called hemophilia. Bleeding disorder. He lost a finger because of it. He lost one finger. Yes. How old is he? He will five next oh month. Oh my God. I want to pray for you. 
please believe when God visits people is for redemption I stretch my hands right now you have anointed us, O oh God, to be extensions of your power. Therefore, I decree and declare that everything that is happening to any twin here represented, right from the foundation till this day, I decree right now. I'm seeing fire resting on you people. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Let that fire rest upon you. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus, even for the kids, I decree and declare, let this blood condition come to an end now. Let this condition come to an end now. Hallelujah. Ah. You are the only person alive in your family, among your siblings. They are all dead. Who is that person? The Lord just showed me a vision. I need to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed when God... I hope I'm not wasting your time. Where is the person? Please rush. The only person alive? Where are you from? Are you from Anambra State? Where are you from? Huh? Anambra State. All your siblings have Nine, died. eight of them died. Eight of them have died. Yes, you are the only one. Yes, you see, but listen, ladies and gentlemen, until God trusts you with power and the grace to see, you may never know what people go through. How many of you were born? Nine of us. And how, you are the only one left. Eight have died. How many of you? Four. And all of them are gone. Only you. Let me pray for you. I believe in Jesus. And I act as he reveals to me. How do you have nine people and eight people would die? How can that be the will of God? I hope as I'm praying for them, you are connecting too. Because that is the purpose of faith. Are we together? Lord Jesus, we stretch our hands as a family of faith. Ah! One of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. I just saw a vision and the Lord is telling me that if, if you were not prayed for, this would have been the same case with you before the end of the year. Because this is a spirit. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I want, I want to pray for you. You see, the truth is that curses are real. The power of God can set men free, but curses are real. Hallelujah. I just heard it's like two people were quarreling. And this is what I just heard in my spirit. Didn't see a vision, but I heard. And all I heard is it will not be well with you. This is what I heard. This is like a conversation between two women. And somebody is standing and saying, it will not be well with you. This was said to a family. Come and stand here. There is a family that somebody told you that. Who told you that? She's a colleague. No. This, anyway, I'll pray for you. But this is not what I'm talking about. But you don't have to be... On, you see, number one is fear God. Number two, treat people with respect. There are, there's what we call self-inflicted causes. And it comes because people get angry and... Madam, where are you coming from? You are an international visitor? Yes. From? California. From? California. California. Yes. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. I'll pray for you too, my dear. The scourging tongues of men is what Job said will be delivered from. Let me pray for these our dear ones going through this demonic thing about death. In the name of Jesus, for every arrow of death that has been deposited in these lives and these families no matter how many of them have gone for your sake in the name of jesus may god restore the name and the dignity of this family may god use you to restore the name and the dignity of these families in the name of jesus christ and every legal access that the spirit of death has over you and over this family we declare let the blood speak now let the blood speak now let the blood speak now in the name of Jesus let the blood speak now and for anyone who is a victim of the ill speakings of men, that someone stood and opened their mouth, whether is a curse causeless or a curse with a cause, I declare, let the blood speak for you now. 
let the blood speak for you now 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 there's someone you've been having pains at your right side or so i'm not a doctor but i'm hearing appendicitis i need to pray for you in i believe that's most times it's a surgical procedure that manages that that situation we have a number of doctors here in the name of jesus i'm going to pray once we pray you can you can we'll, we'll give a few minutes for the testimonies before i've not done the deliverance session proper i'm about to do it now no no devil will escape the word of god in the name of jesus christ my dear where are you from this fair lady looking at me Sit. don't be embarrassed there eh? but i need to pray for you i'm seeing a spirit of bad luck yes. huh that people just people hate you yes. people reject you yes. people fight you yes. and they give meaning to you something that is not yes. and there are many people who have that kind of thing anybody who is being perceived wrongly in the name of jesus that veil that is making men to treat you as the person you are not by the power that raised christ from the dead i tear off that veil now i tear off that veil now i tear off that veil now what's that restore song sing it for me Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. There is a man, I will not advise that you come out. But I'm seeing the number 59 million. You lost 59 million. I don't know if it was in an investment or whatever it is. But that's why I raised that song for you. Because the Lord is saying he wants to restore you. And I'm using that man as a point of contact. Anyone who has lost anyone Naira. I don't care for no matter how long. By the power that raised. If you believe in the prophetic. Then I'm speaking to you. Between now and the next three months. In the name of Jesus the son of the living God. Let there be supernatural restoration. Let there be supernatural restoration. You will be surprised to see what God will do. Don't doubt. I declare restoration. First for the man God revealed to me. And then for anyone who is in that condition. May my God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You're exalted. 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 Lifted up.
manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus lifted up. One last time now. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe. You're exalted, exalted. my hands in the name that is above all names there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now I decree and declare I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore I stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one Two, three, take that grace now. Take that grace now. Bring them out. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Breathe, Lord.
every altar that has tied your destiny down, I want you to bring them out. As God breathes right now, some of you, a physical wind will blow towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every ordinance of darkness must give way now. Satan, by the breath of the Spirit, let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Let God's people go now. Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me I'm, I'm seeing a revelation And the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit That has held on to women Women in many families Their destiny is not just maritally It has tied everything in their life In the name of Jesus As my God breathes upon this congregation Every daughter of Abraham Who has been bound by witchcraft Be released now Be released now be released now! Be released now! Elama shabakas ko barakosiata, egraka paskalika parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Ah. Be released. Exalted. 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 Lift it up. Lift it up. We lift you up. Exalted. 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 about to break upon those trusting God for employment. I'm hearing this in my spirit, that those who are trusting God to open career doors, right now I stretch my hands, let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three. Father, where are they? Men and women who must testify of your mighty hand. May that grace rest upon you now. 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 Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest His power, His wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted to the nations. 
hands. See Jesus. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please, I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick walk. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing the name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. Hara sholaka sega besiata kranti gele su kaparia kaparusa sega de shiata basubras. I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea. And the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in cycles. It will come, then it will stay. Then help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody is like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times. Just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of babies. Listen. And the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness. People that have been trusting God for children for a long time. I want you to know that this is your prophetic word. It's not a song. It's not a song. Are you ready now? Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Say. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Everyone trust.
trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Lay your hands, whether for you or for someone, you can stand for someone. You are a man, you can stand for your wife. I want to make this declaration. God does not lie. In the name of Jesus, the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft. My God, I'm just seeing fire. Burning things that look like threats. In the name of Jesus Christ, at the instruction of the Spirit, I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe. All those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me an impartation that he is doing now. Is an impartation of the grace for teaching. A prophetic dimension of the teaching grace. This is not for everybody. I don't know why God will interrupt the thing like this. But I stretch my hands. The grace of a teacher. May that grace rest upon you. Right now. The grace of a teacher. May that anointing mantle you. Wherever you are. You are a man of God. Here I decree and declare. The capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the Spirit is when we engage in prayer, even praying in the Spirit. When we begin to pray in the Spirit, you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish. You are giving the Holy Spirit room to search the mind of the Father. And He will bring to you. This is how this song came. This is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the Spirit. I want to declare there is a baptism that God wants to do now. It's a baptism of fire. That will help men pray until they receive wisdom in the place of prayer. Father, I don't know where they are. But from the north to the south, east to the west, all over this auditorium, there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the Spirit. The grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone you came here. You could not move your neck very well. I want you to check yourself now. The power of God has touched you. You are wearing like green or lime. Something like that. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Is there someone like that? Come. Come. Where? Why are they clapping? Check yourself and come. A miracle has happened to you now. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Upon my life. Sing, breathe, Lord. 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 I receive. I manifest. Your power, your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, glorified. Madam, you have a problem. What, what, did, what was the problem? For some times now, I've been feeling hotness in this side of my body. Just today, the team moved Madam, down. Madam, look at me. I want to look at me. I want to pray for you. 
so that we save time. I'm seeing that the devil brought stroke. This thing would have led to stroke. You've been feeling half of you. It's as if you feel numbness yes. sometimes. Yes, yes. I want you to stand up. Yes. Check your neck now. Move it. Don't be afraid. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Move it. Any pain. Look at this. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, that devil of darkness that has brought stroke to your body, we command it back to hell where it came from. Back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, look at me. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And the Lord is saying to bring you out of there. I use mama as a point of contact. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. That is only a matter of time. Believe me I know what I'm seeing that makes me say what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. I declare come out of that demonic coffin now. Come out of that demonic coffin now. Help my mother. I stretch my hands, mama. In the name that is above all names, you will not die. Hence, God has brought you here tonight. We forbid you from untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a family from Edo State. And the Lord is telling me, that the power of God is coming upon you there is a very strange manifestation of witchcraft witchcraft that does not allow people rise this is a do state in the name that is above all names I pray for whoever that person is as may, be, as may apply wherever you are in the main auditorium all the overflows are following online that demonic spirit that comes as a result of territory by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now <laughs> hallelujah I'm not a prophet of doom and I'm usually very careful to make announcements like this but I'm hearing in my spirit now and the Lord is saying announce it openly the Lord is asking me to pray for one of the senators in this country that he will not fall and go the way of the grave I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I don't come out to waste my time. I have serious things to do. So it's not, I would not speak like this if God did not put it in my heart. I fear God, but I also respect myself. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hence God has revealed it. We pray for all our serving senators. If there is anyone that the devil wants to bring to the grave, by the mercies of God, we decree and declare, may they be preserved. By the mercies of God, may they be preserved. Amen. One of these, my ushering ladies, I know you people are walking, but the power of God is coming on one of you. God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time, that he has brought answers to it. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. Even though you are ushers, you are serving. But God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time. That he's bringing answers to it. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. As God is touching them. Every long standing prayer point. That you have written and written and written and written again. May my God arise and breathe upon that prayer right now. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is asking me to pray against kidnapping for a particular family. Just lend me a few minutes and we'll be done. It's a very influential family. I'm seeing people conspire and kidnapping this person and asking for a ransom of over 100 million. In the name that is above all names. Anybody who wants to kidnap and kill anybody, this one I'm the one praying. Quarter to that time, may the earth open and swallow them. I say it again. I stand as a man of God that anybody conspiring to get any made the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the earth open and swallow them. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing. I want to speak over your life now. All those in front here, there is a woman, Kai. I want to pray for you. Um, because what you are, what you think is just a lump and pain, I want to cause it. I'm seeing a manifestation and this is something that is cancerous. And the Lord wants me to rebuke it. You just think it's just a lump. But this thing is the devil wanting to put. I hope you know that cancer is a spirit. Do you know that? Please believe it. Any daughter of Abraham here. That the devil has planted any satanic thing in your body. I stand by the God who sent me for your sake. I decree and declare. Tonight cancer dies from your body. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, anyone here who is sick, you came with a sick person, you can release your faith. And I know that many hospitals graciously follow the miracle service all the hospitals that are following right now you can just allow the patients to make contact just by stretching their hands or if the patients are unconscious you can leave them the loved ones who are there with them can stand i'm about to pray we want to release healing to the nations and to release it here right now please i want you to believe healing is real i am a product of the healing ministry of jesus i pray right now every spirit that is back of any infirmity it does not matter the name the form the fashion by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare that spirit leaves your body now that spirit leaves your body now that spirit leaves your body now right now i decree and declare be healed in the name of jesus blood conditions be healed now ulcers be healed now pile be healed now all kinds of growths in your body i command them to die now any abnormality in your body drying up your bones drying up your blood be healed from it now hiv be healed diabetes be healed arthritis be healed blindness be healed deafness be healed pile be healed Kidney problems be healed. Liver problems be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Children with autism be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. Cataracts be healed. Glaucoma be healed. Colon cancer be healed. Prostrate cancer be healed. Lung cancer be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Joint problems be healed. You are here and your SS genotype, we change it now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been suffering a problem of indigestion i don't know what it is but it looks like some kind of gastrointestinal problem by the power that raised christ from the dead i stretch my hands now and i decree and declare may the power of god touch you right where you are touch you right where you are touch you right where you are now i want to pray for someone i'm seeing in the spirit both men and women from the family you come from there is a spirit I'm not asking you to come out. This is the spirit of drunkenness. You love God, oh, but you cannot see alcohol. It's not like whether you are good or bad. I want to pray for you because that thing you see can kill. I'm praying for you. First, the mercy of God. 
where you have roasted your liver, roasted parts of your body because of consuming some of these poisonous things. May God show you mercy. And then I am praying right now. Please take it seriously. I curse the spirit of alcoholism. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. And then the Lord is asking me to pray for a family. I can imagine that many families will be connected to this prayer. But particularly, I want to pray for a family that has suffered abject poverty. This is a wicked spirit. Going to school or not going to school does not seem to matter. Because these are forces that have tied down the family. And they love God. In Jesus name. I cry to the Lord God of heaven, the one who created and made for this convergence. Any family that has been down by the spirit of poverty, I come in the volume of the book as it has been written in the name of Jesus as one sent by the spirit. And I declare, may that spirit be banished from your family. May that spirit be banished from your family. Hallelujah. Banish from your family. Now, very quickly, we are going to sing this song as a prophetic song. Sing any part you can remember. While we are singing it, please collect the prayer request. Let's just walk with the foolishness of God's wisdom and watch what happens to you. Hallelujah. Write your prayer request very quickly and we are going to sing this song as they present it here before the Lord and I assure you that by the God of heaven you will watch the wonder that will happen those outside those inside you can submit your prayer request if your if your request has not been collected just wave it let the usher see it very quickly now you pass it to the last the aisle by the left or right no one will read it don't worry just pass it so that quickly if you are yet to write a few things please release your faith let me give you a minute and those who are following from across the nations write your request very quickly this is the time when god will be visiting people mightily you came here make sure that your faith is enlarged hallelujah have you learned the song now or do we need to do any rehearsal again
exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Turn it to a prayer now. Everyone, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Let it be your prayer tonight. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. When this song came to me by the Spirit, that was why I recorded it as you heard. I prayed it and prayed it and prayed it in my life. Most people have no idea what happens to a man when God breathes upon you. It's like a hen. You know how a hen sits on her eggs? And those eggs hatch and become young chicks that will also become big hens. So when you say breathe, you are saying, Lord, let your breath. His breath is powerful. It parted the Red Sea. It was the breath of God that came upon the bones in the valley of Ezekiel. And turned those bones to become an exceeding great army. So as we pray over these requests... You are saying breathe. We are asking him. It's not the kneeling down of Joshua Selman that makes these prayers to be answered. God gave this song as a prophetic song to the body of Christ. This is not just a koinonia. That's going to be our prayer. Please submit your requests very quickly. We are going to sing this song one twice. Once, twice and then I speak over this request. And then I will turn the song to a prophecy. And rain it upon your spirit according to Isaiah 32 verse 15 that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness is counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine is counted for a forest receive manifest his power his wisdom receive Manifest His power, His wisdom. Receive, manifest His power, His wisdom. Let me prophesy. Receive, manifest His power, His wisdom. See Jesus lifted up, exalted, receive, manifest His power, His wisdom till the nations. See Jesus lifted up. In Genesis 8 verse 1 and 2 the Bible tells us that when it was time to put an end to the flood the Bible says verse 2 that God caused a strong wind verse 1 now I believe that God caused a strong wind to pass over the earth 
So the breath of God can blow away unfavorable things. It's not only life. When you are saying breathe upon me, you are saying Lord, breathe upon everything. Let shame go as you breathe. Let reproach go as you breathe. Let everything that is not of God, a cupboard, the name that have been named, people have mocked your God. You are saying, Lord, breathe upon me. And for some of you who are saying there is no life in me, I don't even have hope to move forward. You are saying, breathe life into me. You are still going to sing this song. Now you sing it with revelation as I prepare to pray. The breath of God. Ruach. Numa. The wind of the spirit. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. A sound. And he said, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And say, all wind, breathe upon this lane. And the wind came upon the bones. And there arose an exceeding great army. Sing the song one last time. With understanding in your heart. Breathe, Lord. Lift your hands as you receive. Say, breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Receive Jesus till the nations say Hosanna, 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 sing Hosanna, 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 Hosanna. Arise, almighty God that you are. 
and by that breath that part the Red Sea, heater and teeter, making a gate out of the sea. I'm praying, oh God of my covenant, that you will arise in power, that you will arise in glory, that you will arise as a mighty warrior that you are, and breathe upon this request. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. That everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. For some of you, it arrives Monday. For some Tuesday. For some tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. And hear me. Every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names wherever they are by the power of the prophetic we call them to your life now I call them to your life now therefore I stand upon this request and I declare these Egyptians that you see today may you see them no more forever May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now I feel led to do this. We're wrapping up. In one minute. I felt stirred in my heart. The one thing you want God to do for you. I know you wrote a lot of things here. But I'm releasing my faith with you. The one thing, there may be many things, but there might be one thing you are crying and saying, Lord, visit me. You are the only one who knows whether you are outside in the next two minutes. Please, I want you to pray. I'm releasing my faith with you and you will watch the God of wonder surprise you. You go, shake away unbelief and go ahead and pray. Impossible situations. Don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered. Ask for something that you know. The answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny go ahead and pray I release my faith as one sent I release my faith by the spirit of grace go ahead and pray remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will this is why we pray with confidence for the bible says this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will we know that he hears us please go ahead and pray receive manifest receive manifest receive manifest receive keep praying manifest receive manifest receive manifest his power his wisdom his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted Lord we receive answers outside inside across the nations of the earth we receive answers tonight by the spirit of the living god answers of wisdom 
answers of favor, answers of restoration, answers of speed, answers of establishment, answers of fruitfulness, answers of breakthroughs, answers of higher realms, answers of superior dimensions, answers of open doors, answers of open gates, answers of open heavens. In the name of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. In the name of Jesus, for the remaining months of this year, September ending, October, November, December, may my God, who is also your God, do a speedy walk in your life. Do a speedy walk in your life. A speedy walk in your career. A speedy walk in this nation. A speedy walk in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray over these hands that are lifted. In the name of Jesus. You have lifted it up. It will not go down. You have lifted it up. You will not go down. Everything that looks like shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus Christ. I tear it like a curtain from your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. We are what we are like Paul said. Because of the abundance of the grace. That he has placed upon our lives. And everything that he has placed. Is transferable. To those who desperately and genuinely need it. I pray for you all the time and I release many graces, but let me just do one. I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there. If you do not have the grace for visibility, you can be gifted. You will still remain in shame, remain in reproach. Let me tell you, when the grace for visibility locates you, it does not matter where you are. Men will find you. Systems will find you. Governments will find you and exalt you. I am a beneficiary of this grace I know what it can do therefore I pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being closed that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus finally every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones I see people lifting medical bills or medical reports. I see people lifting all kinds of things, provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact. I stand and I call upon the God who has sent us, who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace. In the name of Jesus, let every point of contact you have lifted, whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh, I decree and declare, may it happen this week. May it happen not next week. May it happen this week. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Where they rejected you. Let this grace rest upon you. Go back again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me koinonia. Any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately. <laughs> These are not empty words. Let me repeat it again. That on account of what you carry, that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you, I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ, they go down immediately. <laughs> suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm 
anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a God of vengeance may he arise for you as a God of vengeance in the name of Jesus Christ my Bible says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth I want to speak that because some of you it's not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of Jesus may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of disfavor When Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again, there was a compensation system for Jacob. It was Jacob that gave birth to Joseph and one Joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever. Became a prime minister in Egypt and reigned, preserved God's people till he died. I'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him all the praise wave it as an offering as you are waving it, you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing, every satanic thing that does not name the name of Christ. You are waving it prophetically. Goodbye to shame, goodbye to reproach, goodbye to yesterday in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please allow me to make the altar call. My apologies for stretching you beyond today. You can see that it was a prophetic service. You are in this place. For your sake, we are going to steal out a minute or two in this service to ensure that you make it right with Jesus. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Jesus is our redemption. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, if you will give me a chance in this prophetic atmosphere, I want to make it right once and for all with Jesus. Or you are saying, I want to rededicate my heart, my life to Jesus. I don't want you to wait until anybody comes. You be the first with boldness and with seriousness. Come and stand here. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Young and old, male or female, are you coming? Give them a big, big hand clap as they come. Let's encourage them. He wants to breathe upon your life. Don't sit back when the Holy Spirit is telling you you should be here. Come. 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 He wants to build you tonight. Just a minute. We are staying back for your sake. Receive. Manifest. His power. His wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations come. See Jesus lifted up, exalted. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if you are joining them, make it very fast because i'm about to lead them to pray you're coming please double up we just have a minute for you and please for those who are coming from outside this place allow them to double up their steps so that we can wrap up hallelujah thank you very much brothers and sisters for coming out to make this noble decision you have seen the hand of god you've seen what he is able to do may i request that you lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus Tonight, I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I declare that I cannot help myself. But I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. 
right now I receive you into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God forever and ever. Amen. Keep your beautiful hands lifted as I pray for you. Dear Lord, we thank you for these precious people. You have brought them by your spirit and the many more who are connecting, making these declarations of faith across the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, I declare that upon the authority of your word, let their sins be forgiven forever. And that in the name of Jesus, from today, they become bona fide recipients of your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. You will enjoy the ministry of the Holy Spirit and you will grow in grace. For in Jesus' mighty and matchless name, I pray. Amen. Now, please, just a moment. I want you to just move to the the counselors by my right that will be your left they will have a word with you just for a few minutes just to encourage and pray with you and then soon after you'll be back to your seat let's honor them as they go koinonia give them a big 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 hand clap hallelujah just a few seconds south africa are you ready by the grace of god i'm in south africa this week from wednesday down to the weekend and then i rush back for service so by the grace of god all of you across southern africa really south africa and the neighboring countries you're welcome meet us at house of treasures it will be a time of revelation impartation and i believe that god is doing something amazing across the african continent and this includes south africa so let's meet together and fellowship in the spirit as we build capacity and strengthen ourselves pastors are invited everyone government officials diplomats all and sundry you're welcome meet us at house of treasures and um, it will be an awesome time in the spirit and for all of us who are here as always you can connect through our social media platforms you can follow the conference and then of course you know i told you that every time i travel we really appreciate you for watching our videos like comment share and subscribe thank you